Real life insights, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jonathan. This is a segment where we get to digest real issues of life and uh, we help you move your life forward. Um, right here with me is one of the best around my circles, the partner at Kukula Capital, Jito Kayumba. Jito, welcome to Real Life Insights. Well, thank you for having me. Okay, so Jito, um, what are some of the things that youths should avoid? Um, in order for them not to fall under the trap of people who are caught or labelled as failures, as an upcoming yeah. some someone who's coming, sure. they want to make it in life. Yeah. Uh, what are some of the traps yeah. that we should avoid? Yeah. So one is really being particular about your associations. Mm. These are people you associate with, your friends. I know it's it almost sounds like bad if somebody listens to this like no but my best friend is so and so even though that person drinks too much and doesn't do anything that's my friend how you want me to ignore that friend um but the reality is our friends the people we associate with have a huge impact on our lives yeah. they influence whether or not we're going to be we're going to read tonight or we're mm. going to go drinking mm. they influence whether we're going to discuss business mm. or we're going to discuss football or girls mm. or something mm. they'll influence whether or not we're going to you know understand the stock market and understand work ethic yeah. and building businesses mm. or someone to say that's the, that thing doesn't work for white people why do you want mm. to talk about that mm. there's people who have different perspectives of life right mm. and i feel like the the building blocks of, a, of character um, are the community I and mean, the community really is family and friends yeah. so one is is being mindful of who we're associated with mm -hmm. because we learn uh, things from people we're associated with and you find that yeah, there's some people who really give us some really negative vibes. And I think that's the second point, is really avoid negativity. Mm -hmm. um, there's so many more naysayers than there are people who are going to promote you. Mm -hmm. You have so many more people with excuses for why something that won't work mm -hmm. than those who will agree like, okay, this thing can work. Mm -hmm. So you want to associate people who somewhat understand you. Of course, I also believe that you should appreciate criticism mm -hmm. because there are some naysayers who could be saying something that makes sense yeah. and you might find that they could save you. So you have to be able to, to discern that. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like there's certain vices, you know, look, as a young guy, university, whatever, even after I, I had a drink, I had fun, mm -hmm. but some things done in excess mm -hmm. are problematic. Mm -hmm. And some people fall into the trap of drinking too much, mm -hmm. some into you know, drugs, things mm -hmm. of that nature that ruin people's lives forever. Mm -hmm. And these are things that people have to absolutely avoid. Mm -hmm. And I think um, very importantly is having clarity in which direction they're going to take moving forward, whether it be academically, whether it be business-wise, whichever path they want to follow, sports, you name it, and, and just being staying committed. And part of staying committed into doing that is, is having the right support system mm -hmm. of friends, professionals who will, who will help them achieve that. So for me, that would be my advice to a young person of what to avoid and perhaps what to focus on attracting. Yeah. Yeah. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Stay safe. Hey guys, this is Mr. Chitambala Mwewa for SML TV. Continue watching the real life show with Jonathan.